Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we're making the best key lime pie recipe for our crowd. Key lime pie is a southern classic, and the filling on this key lime pie is light and fluffy. It's the perfect combination of tart and sweet with a creamy whipped filling and a sandy cracker crust. If this is your first time on our channel, we believe sharing homemade food spreads joy and touches lives, and we'll show you how to make delicious dishes you can proudly share with your friends and family, like this luscious key lime pie. It's delicate and light with a distinct key lime flavor punch, and it's the perfect dessert for serving large groups at spring and summer events, like brunches, cookouts, and dessert tables. Here's a quick look at our ingredients, and I've also listed them in the description box below. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We'll be baking the crust for just a few minutes. You can also use your favorite no-bake graham cracker crust or two to three store-bought crumb crust. Because we have nut allergies in our family, I'm using crumbled graham crackers in the crust. You can also use an equal amount of your favorite ground toasted nuts instead. Crush about five graham crackers into a fine crumb in a large Ziploc bag. Add a half teaspoon of salt and mix. Add one half cup of brown sugar and two cups of flour. And mix. Then add six tablespoons of melted butter. For a firmer crust, you can use eight tablespoons of butter. Mix until the butter is thoroughly incorporated into the mixture and then press the crust into the bottom of your pan. This crust will be a sandy crust, and it'll have a lighter texture than a traditional graham cracker crust, which I think really goes nicely with the lighter, fluffy key lime filling in this recipe. Bake for about 15 minutes until the crust is lightly golden, and then cool completely on a wire rack. Juice the key limes. We'll need a little more than a half a cup. I made a classic key lime pie recipe earlier this week. I'll link that recipe up for you. And so I had some key limes left over, but not quite enough to get a half cup of juice. So I'm supplementing here with regular limes, and I can tell you that the flavor is still really resoundingly key lime, just in case you find yourself in a similar situation. Heat three quarters cup of sugar and the half cup of key lime juice over low heat, and stir until the sugar dissolves. Then remove from heat and set this aside. Sprinkle one envelope of unflavored gelatin over two tablespoons of the reserved lime juice in a medium-sized bowl. Stir the mixture and then let this stand for about five minutes. While it's sitting, prepare your whipped cream. Beat two cups of heavy whipping cream on medium-high until soft peaks form. Add the hot sugar mixture to the gelatin and stir until the gelatin dissolves. Then whisk in one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now we need to cool this down quickly to get the gelatin to set up. Place your bowl into a container filled with ice and whisk the mixture for about seven to 10 minutes. Once the filling is setting up, add the zest of one lime. Gently fold in the whipped cream. If you love to entertain and share great tasting treats like this key lime pie, Check out our playlist of dessert recipes and potluck favorites. They're all simple to make, and I guarantee they taste incredible. And we have new videos every week. Subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we've posted a new one. The gelatin and whipped cream make this pie extra smooth and extra light, and it sets up to be very sturdy for easy serving and transporting to your event. You can serve this pie right out of the pan, or for easy slicing, line your 13 by nine inch pan with parchment paper or foil so you can easily lift the pie out of the dish. Pour the key lime filling over the pie crust and smooth the top gently. Top the pie with a little more lime zest. I'm using a regular lime because the darker green flecks show up better than the light yellow key lime zest. And I do this before refrigerating the pie so it sits a little bit into the surface. Use a few toothpicks to hold the saran wrap off the top of the pie surface. Chill for at least eight hours. This pie can be made a few days in advance of your party, which I love. 
If you're looking for a delicious spring or summertime treat to share with your favorite people, this is the best key lime pie and a proven crowd pleaser. Thank you so much for watching our channel. When you watch, comment, and share our videos, it helps other people find us and your support means so much to us. Remember to subscribe before you leave so you know when we've posted a new recipe. And here's some more great recipes that I think you'll like. I'll see you in the next video.